so now I can use document reference to update the value so I can use update and I will use the edited map that we have here and I can also add the success on success and on failure listener so I'm not going to do that for now but if you want to check the status if it is getting updated or not if it is uh, returning any error then you can use uh, on success or on failure listener so that you will be able to know what's going on okay so if you don't see the changes in the database just try to add the uh, event listener here so that you will be able to keep track of what's happening in the background okay so for now i'm just not i'm not going to do that so i'm going to run this application and let's see if going, if it is going to work or if i have missed anything here we're going to come back and update it okay but for now running the application in my phone okay okay the application is running now i'm gonna click on the change profile button and it's going to get me to this edit profile activity and now i'm going to try and change this email from 112 to 113 okay and uh, i will also change add something here and i'm also going to update this so save the data and if it's going to save uh, it, it, it is displaying some error here so, so it is asking me to uh, re-login so I'm going to go back and log out okay and I'm going to log in again so because I'm on to add the red gmail.com okay let's try and log in okay now I'm logged in now I'm going to try and change the profile so let's see what happens okay so I'm going to click on save button and hopefully it's going to save it otherwise we'll get some error okay it says email is changed and uh, since uh, if the data is updated here I have not displayed any message so I'm also going to add the success listener so that we'll be able to keep track of anything that's going on so if the data is updated I'm going to display profile updated and I'm going to send them back okay so I'm going to start new activity here new intent and main activity dot class okay and I don't want them to go back so I'm going to finish this okay now let's run this application and we'll all again change the data but for the record I'm going to go here and from the authentication I don't know I have a lot of user here but I'm going to try and find that exact one okay you can see now I have 1122 as an email and um, now I'm again going to change the data from here so I think application is running now yes you can see new email and data and everything but you can see it is uh, I have made a mistake here instead of giving the profile name I gave the email okay now I'm going to change that again run this so app is running click on change profile and give some name so I'm gonna give some name let's keep my own name now I'm going to click on save and it should save this data so let's click on save it says email is changed it says profile is updated now we are here in the profile activity and you can see we have the new data okay guys so that is how we change it okay now let's change the profile picture from the this activity here okay so to do that first I'm going to go back here in the main activity where we have taken the URL of the image so here somewhere I have uh, taken the URI from the database if the uh, profile picture already exists I'm taking the data here so we are getting the URI of the profile picture here and we are setting that to the uh, image view that we have here in the, uh, in the this one okay if the email already exists we are displaying that here if not we are displaying some default image so if the user wants to change it we need to update it okay so now the first thing I want to do here is change this so I'm gonna get the same copy of the code here okay and I'm gonna go back to the edit profile and uh, here just after this I'm gonna paste it here okay 
and I'm gonna change the storage difference so we have we don't have the storage difference yet that is for Firebase storage so I'm gonna get the storage difference okay now I need to initialize the storage reference. I'm going to do that here. So storage reference storage dot get instance. That is how we initialize it dot and get reference. Okay. And after that, now it is uh, solved. Now instead of uh, setting that into the pro uh, profile image that we don't have here, I'm going to set that to the profile image view because that is the view holder where we want to display our image. So I'm going to run this application and it should display the exact image that is displaying here this uh, image here okay so this application is running let's wait for a few seconds okay it is displaying the image now I'm gonna click on change profile it's going back and now it is displaying the image okay now I want to change this image when somebody click on this or I want to give them option to change the image when somebody click on that uh, image here okay because I have already handled that here in the uh, edit profile activity. So this is the unclick listener where I have implemented that. So inside this, I'm going to change the, I'm going to give the option to change the profile image. So I have already implemented all the code in the previous video. So if you want to go there and watch it, you can do that from the playlist. I've linked that in the description as I said already. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna copy the same code that we already have written so this is the first thing I want. So I'm gonna copy this from here, go to the on click here and I'm gonna uncomment this. So I need to uh, import the class called media store. Now what it does is it's going to open the gallery intent whenever somebody click on the image, okay? So uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what it does. We don't have implemented any other code to change the image right now, but let me show you what this two line of code does, okay? So I'm gonna run this again, just to show you guys. Okay, so we are on the profile here. Click on change profile. Now if I click on this, it should give me this option to change, go to the gallery or photo, or it should give me the action to pick the images from the gallery. So that's why it is called intent.actionPick and uh, we are picking from the media store and we are getting the image URI. Okay, now I need to implement this on I need to override the on activity result. So I have already done that here. So I'm gonna go here and copy the same code, which we don't need here. So copy this, go back here. And just after this on create, I'm gonna paste it. Okay. So now I'm going to explain this code uh, just to make you understand. So what I'm doing here. So uh, here while opening the gallery, here you can see we have given the request code. So based on this record co request code, we are going to identify which uh, activity is giving some result. So we are calling this on gallery open intent. So, and here you can see I'm checking if the request code is thousand, that means we are picking the image. And if the result is okay, we have some result or image URI, then I'm going to create the image URL of the selected image that is selected from the gallery. And that is present in this data. So image URI get data. Now we need to upload that to the Firebase. So to upload to the image to the Firebase, we already have implemented the logic here. This is it. So I'm gonna copy this or cut this from here and paste it here just after this method. So paste it here. So inside this, uh, let me change these errors. So get application context and instead of profile image, file image view okay now here we are getting the file reference from the uh, storage reference users based on the user uid we are creating the folder i'm gonna go here and show you guys what i'm talking about so go to the storage and the storage we have the collection called users or directory called users you can see and inside that we have this profile dot png or profile file so based on the uh, particular user we are creating the file here okay and inside that we have this profiled jpeg image okay so for the every user we have one profile image so that's what happening here that is what we are doing by creating the reference and we are using put file 
to upload the image and get download URL to the get the downloaded uploaded image URL and we are using Picasso to set the profile image okay now uh, let's go back to our application here and run this and I'm gonna show you guys how it's going to work or how it's going to upload the image and display that okay so let's wait for a few seconds to run this application and I'm gonna show you that by changing the profile picture okay I'm here let me change the name as well this uh, let's not put that there because currently uh, I'm not checking if the image is uh, if the name or the phone number are already there or not so we are just going to upload it so let me fix that so click on image it's going to ask me to select the from where you want to uh, select the image okay and now I'm going to select some image let me select this one because I don't want to select image that is way too big so now it is uploading so uh, I have not given the spinner or anything but you can also add the spinner okay you can see the profile is updated now I'm going to, I'm going to click on save here and it's going to save it email it's going to change the email and profile is updated and we also have the profile image okay but uh, if you just want to change the image only then you can just click on this and select the image and you don't need to uh, you don't even need to save this here okay so if you click on save this it's going to say that image is changed and everything is going to come back but actual it is not doing anything so that check I have not performed so if you want to perform that uh, check you can do it yourself okay but if you want me to do that let me know in the comment and for now I think this is it to change uh, change the profile how you can do it and this is how you change the profile in your application so uh, this brings to the end of this video guys and I hope that you are going to learn something from this and if you find any bug because my application contains a lot of bug because uh, while recording and editing this source code I make a lot of mistakes and I know that so if you get any kind of bugs then let me know in my Facebook group you can like our Facebook page you can uh, post your problem in our Facebook group and I will fix and release the new update into the github okay don't forget to like and subscribe and motivate me and uh, if you have any questions leave that in the comment, bo comment box below or in the Facebook group then I will get back to you as soon as possible. For now bye bye have a good day.